we have been able to establish some very advanced labs in our department. So we have one cardiopulmonary lab, one neurophysiology and neurodiagnostic lab, and neuroequilibrium lab also. And all these labs, they cater to around 10 to 15 patients of all age groups every day. In the cardiopulmonary lab, uh, we do uh, cardiopulmonary exercise testing and body plethysmography. Now, both these tests, they are very helpful. Uh, the CPET or the cardiopulmonary exercise testing, it is very helpful for making out the cause of unexplained dyspnea. So whether it is cardiac, pulmonary or a muscular disorder, we can uh, know by doing cardiopulmonary exercise testing. Similarly, body plethysmography, it is also very helpful. It gives us more information than what a normal spirometry gives in patients of obstructive and restrictive pulmonary disease. The procedure that we are showing is cardiopulmonary exercise testing, which is an integrative process analyzing the cardiopulmonary parameters, ventilatory responses and metabolic responses, which analyzes the exercise intolerance to the maximum oxygen consumption. It is also analyzing what is the anaerobic threshold respiratory compensation point and also stating the double product and Duke treadmill score. Based on these parameters, we would be able to see and understand if the patient is suffering from a cardiac problem or a pulmonary problem. And if patient fails to reach any of these aforementioned parameters, we would be saying it is a mixed spectrum disorder and can also suffer from musculoskeletal disorder. So it is an important aspect because it is done in consultation with pulmonary and cardiology department and based on the integrative responses of all the department, we would be finally modifying the medications of the patient and also performing uh, body plethysmography and echocardiography for the final result. We have a machine in front of us, the body box which you can see and with the help of this body box, we perform the body plethysmography test. So normally, although spirometry, it is the gold standard to measure the pulmonary function test, to measure the various pulmonary values, the lung values and the capacity. But there are certain lung volumes and capacities which cannot be measured by the normal spirometry. So for that, to measure those volumes and capacities, we require the sophisticated machine known as the body box to measure those lung volumes and capacities. We are at the newly established Neuroequilibrium Lab at the Department of Physiology, ESIC Medical College and Hospital, Faridabad. Here we do various tests for detecting postural balance and vestibular disturbances in patients who have reported to the Department of ENT with various uh, disturbances in posture. We have various equipments like the uh, video nystagmography, we have the rotary chairs, and we have uh, various uh, equipments for detecting postural uh, imbalances like the centralized dynamic posturography and static posturography. ESIC Chinta Se Mukti